Ooh. Have you been here this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> what is up, MF? First, welcome back to another exciting episode of myself and the dab master right down here. We're on a nice little road trip today. We're actually, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit later, but we're driving like six hours round trip today to pick something up that's very, very cool. And of course, it has nothing to do with fishing, but we decided we have to do some fishing on the way. So we, we Google Earthed a couple awesome fishing locations on the way and on their travel, of course, we are gonna be stopping at gas stations to get gas. I know, shocking, right here, right back behind us is a very, very large gas station and we had the idea on the way we were, we were driving here we brought our fish and stuff we're like we should do a gas station fishing challenge just for fun we never done it before um, and so that's what we're doing and the rules is you know a lot of gas stations they have fishing tackle they got rods reels live bait even some tackle at some gas stations well, we're not using any of that today we're gonna pick out some food items that we're actually gonna go try to catch some fish on food items I don't know what the hell we're gonna get if it's gonna be like Candy, packaged stuff, jerky, meat. I don't even freaking know. You guys have seen us catch fish on Kool-Aid flavor stuff before, some giant fish. I caught my biggest catfish ever on that. And I guess we're gonna go explore the gas station right back here behind us, see what they got. And then we're gonna go to a lake that we picked out. If that lake sucks, we'll go to another one. Max, what happens if that lake isn't any good? We'll go to another one. Okay, great. All right, let's go in the gas station and see what the hell they have in this place. It's giant. We are inside the giant truck stop center thing. Max, what do you think we should do? Like, what what, what are fish gonna eat inside a gas station? Uh, candy? Candy, not a bad idea. We, we do use the, uh, the Kool-Aid chicken titties when we go fishing a lot of times. So that's kind of like a, a sweeter meat type candy. Dude, I wonder if they have like any packaged meat, like jerky, sausages. Ooh, Spam, Spam might be a good idea that or something like that and something really sweet. So I think I'm gonna go pick out like a packaged meat dish. Let's go see what they got for that. And then you can check out the candy. Yeah, you can check out the candy. Huh? That looks good. Oh, oh dude, that's a good idea. We definitely need something that'll stay on the hook. So we got some treble hooks from the store, right? Mm -hmm. So what are these guys? Mixed fruit snacks? So, now we can test our theory of catfish liking not just cherry Kool-Aid, but mixed fruit slices. Maybe panfish will eat those too? <laughs> That's a good pick. Did you just come up with that on your own? fishing challenge we're definitely gonna need the map easy to read how about laundry detergent it's probably not gonna stay on the hook too well nuts oh dude here we go the packaged meat section we got tuna that's not gonna stay on the hook oh gross bison oh it's like a it's soup that's probably actually pretty good that kind of sounds good oh here we go we have potted meat, chicken, and pork added. Look at that stuff. Do people actually eat shit like that? It's like cat food. Actually cat oh, food. Is... Cat food might be good for another challenge. Oh, here we go. Dude, that is so nasty. And I really want to try it. Do you think fish would like barbecue flavor or original better with the vegan sausages? Or spam. Oh, you found some spam. You even know what spam is. <laughs> All right, we gotta get spam. And then I'm trying to decide if barbecue via a sausage would be better. <laughs> Cause we gotta try sausage. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get sausage, spam, and Grandpa Harvey's snacks. How do you feel about that? Think we'll actually catch fish on these? I don't know. <laughs> One way to find out. All right, Dab Master. Successful trip to the gas station. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do have uh, giant, giant coolers. We have three giant coolers, um, probably like 500 quarts worth of coolers. We're going to pick up something that weighs 400 pounds. 
you'll have to see that a little bit later on but first stop right now we are heading to the lake to try to catch some stuff on flavored fruit snacks and some really disgusting packaged meat in vienna sausages is this gonna work probably not hard maybe let's do it made it we're to the lake i'm really sick of riding driving it's been a long drive three hours out here but we'll show you like i said later why we had to drive out here max ready to do some fishing dude i'm over freaking driving in the car let's go check out the lake see what it looks like before we we decide what we're going to tie on to use for bait super clear oh dude look see the bluegill oh, there's a bunch right oh, here yeah, oh there's some right there oh dude look there's like schools of them everywhere Sick. So I think if anything, we're gonna be able to definitely catch some bluegill. But I want to catch a big old sloshed to sore catfish. And last time, myself and porn stash fished with chicken titties dipped in Kool-Aid. We actually caught a bunch of bass. So really, I mean, I think we have a chance to catch a little bit of everything. Oh, there's a bass there. I don't know if you guys can see that. He's right on the edge of the grass. Yep, he's right out there. You think these are gonna eat our wieners? Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Dude, let's get rigged up. I can't I can't sit here and stare at these fish any longer. Alright, here's our situation for the day. As you guys can tell, we, we just picked up this giant cooler right here. We got that one up there, we got that one, and we got another one back behind. We'll show you what that's for in a little while here. But here's our fishing situation. We each got two poles. So we got two panfish poles and two catfish poles. Max on your, your panfish pole, we're just gonna do our little micro fishing setup we always use size 10 hook deal we'll, we'll use that for like bluegill or whatever and i don't know should, should we put like a piece of meat you know, like a chunk of meat on this guy deal and then here's your catfish pole i got a treble hook action going on this one hey don't seem so excited will you just relax are you still asleep from the car no you're just ready to catch them something like that huh all right so this guy will put your uh, candy Let's put your, your fruit slices. You can pick out which flavor you're going with. And we'll put this in the bottom and just leave it out to hopefully catch something big. I'm going to do basically the same thing on my two. But um, let's get you rolling with that first. Really interesting way to carry those. I like that. Efficient. That's a bluegill. All right, Max. Time to... Uh, let's do your catfish one first. Are you going... And the catfish one with the uh, candy. Yeah. Come here, come pick out what you want. Which Grandpa Harvey snacks flavor would you like on your bottom pole? Cherry. Cherry? All right, let's pop her open, get the cherry rolling. We did figure out cherry Kool Aid works. Maybe oh, there's too. Grandpa Harvey right there. <laughs> Harvey Henning. All right, Harvey. Let's see if cats like the Harveys. There we go. Dude, these are like fresh gummies rolling. I need about a little over half of it. You can eat that if you want. Okay, I'll eat it. Taste test for the person. What does the person it's think? Perfect. What's that? They're great. Great, excellent. Let's see what the kitties think. Oh yeah, these guys are staying on the hook, no problem. Definitely, probably treble hook required, but dude, look at that. You're ready to rumble. I'm firing that to Narnia. Narnia. Let's let them go to the bottom. So that's gonna be on the bottom. And we're gonna do our usual. Oh my God, it's still sinking. That's a big weight. That's real deep out there. All right, we're gonna loosen this as much as it'll go. Perfect. And then we're gonna tighten it, excuse me. Tighten your line. And we're gonna leave them right here. Maybe, ish. All right, we have deployed the fruit. I think you want to mess with some meat now. Thoughts? Meat? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Now, Max, since I am borderline brain dead and didn't bring a knife, a scissors, anything, I guess I'm breaking it up with my fingers. Would you prefer Spam or Vienna sausage? I'll take Vienna sausage. Barbecue flavor? All right, well, just like that, you have to try these too. Nope, uh-uh. 
Mm. Nope. Dude, they're barbecued. They're just, I mean, they're just hot dog. Yeah. I'm not trying that. Why would I want to do that? All right. So you got to be careful with these because they're not going to want to stay on the hook, I don't feel like. On your little hook here. Go knock yourself out, bro. Here you go. You might want to let some line out with your hand first. Like that. And then just whoosh, drop it out there a little further because that ain't going to stay on the hook. Hardly at all. Got it? Got it. Best of luck. I'm rigging mine up now. I'm going Vienna sausage on the bottom. Starting with a ween. These actually, these smell good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cast it or what, but ooh, yeah, those are super soft. I don't know how they're staying on the hook, bro. Let's see if this works. Hey, bro, I'm going to put my pole right there. Do you want to fish over here around the edge? I'm putting this out to Narnie, and I'm going to catch something on it. Oh, my wiener. <laughs> All right. First cast with the sausage did not go well. On to a new sausage, and if that doesn't work, I guess we're spamming it up. There's probably a better way to do this. That I'm sure the YouTube experts are tearing me up in the comments. There goes another one. We're 0 for 2 on wieners. I think we're going to have to spam it, Max. Dude, to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen spam either. Mmm, spam. Oh, here we go. This stuff's a little bit uh, more dense. We're just, I mean... There's about a negative 72% chance we're ever going to need this out of here again because we ain't going to eat it. Let's just drop them right here. We'll throw it away when we leave, of course, but for now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at this stuff, Max. Gross. I guess this is going to be our knife. It actually works quite well. Yeah, this stuff I think is going to stay on the hook. I think you want some spam on there, Max. Yeah. These Vienna sausages are... Uh, questionable at best a myth where'd you learn to talk like that okay so we're gonna go kind of like so oh dude i think this is golden look at that chunk of meat i kind of want to dip it in the barbecue juice that's what i'm doing Vienna sausages let us down but not completely we can still yeah, use their right juice now. we're getting getting the spam barbecued can't be barbecue spam I mean, except for like with regular meat or just about anything else that you want to eat besides that. Oh yeah. Catfish galore out there. Maybe. All right, Max got his stuff stolen immediately. Yeah, Look at him yeah. down there. Eat. I can see him eating your piece of spam right now. <laughs> There's so many bluegill in this lake. We got the big poles out over there though. We're ready to rock and roll with those. Oh, Here, those you need like really this Every much spam. Every flavor in there is good. You even tried them. Yeah. You think they're going to be good bait, though? I tried to. <laughs> Alright, we're going with much, much less. I still think you're going to have to try to get it in front of one that's bigger, because even though this hook's small, I can't believe people eat this shit. Alright, loser of the challenge has to eat the rest of the spam. Oh, no. <laughs> you're doing it. Get it, Mr. Bass. Always looking at it. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Get it. Oh, the bluegill got it. That bass totally looked at it and then turned on it. Hold on a second. Look at that bass. Dude, they're so little. I'm going searching for something bigger. There's a bigger bass. Eat it. Oh, no. Oh, he took it right off the hook. All right. Spam is uh, not so good for single hooks. More of a treble hook deal, apparently. Uh-oh. First culprit? What'd you get him on? Gummy. What kind, though? Green? Lime gummy. Oh, lime is key. Dude, I don't even know that. Let me see what you got. You're not, not your bait. I want to see your fish, dude. A little green sunfish action? Yep. You know, I've heard that. Green sunfish do love limes. I think they, oh, <laughs> way to get us started since I'm riding the struggle bus over here. Oh, babe, hey, thank you for getting us started. Boom. Dude, strong work. Strong work. I'm going over here by our set lines, kind of keep an eye on them. I got a good feeling old Mr. Spam's going to catch a donkey. Yep, 
Max, we got a dirty spam eater. That guy is tiny. Does it count for the challenge if we use what we catch as bait? I really want to throw this guy out on a hook so bad. Actually, you know what? We'll be nice. We'll let him go. But I know there is big bass in here. Man, I kind of want to do that. All right, we'll have to keep thinking about that, guys. But, hey, bluegill eat spam, apparently. Who would have thought? I, I mean, I kind of thought they eat, like, plastic bags and stuff, too. This guy's just waiting for it. Here he comes. Oh, yum, spam. Oh, he took it off the hook. Dickhead. Spam is, like I was saying, just like the worst thing ever to try to get on a single hook. Does not like to stay on there. And then you got to touch it, and it's disgusting. All right, I'm about to catch this dude right here. He's causing me problems. He's waiting. Look, he's waiting for another serving. Here he comes. Ah, right off the hook. Perfect. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Saw that clown. Would it be legal in our challenge to use the bluegill as bait since we caught them with the gas station food? Not illegal? I might change the rules then. <laughs> Get down to him. Oh, he sees it. Got him. Yes. What a spot. Spot and stock. Oh, what's up, bro? That's like big fish of the day so far. Not like... <laughs> Not a big catfish or a bass or something, but definitely a cool gravel colored. That's like a gravel panda, I would say. I've got small fish. You have gotten small fish. Oh, you went back to uh, cherry. Uh -huh. Making a big adjustment. I like that. Well, I haven't got eaten. I'm sure there's more you could figure out. Oh, that's a giant. Got a big one, Max. He's about an inch and a half at least. The very least these should be our pets so we should be doing catching pets dude i'm about to put one of these guys on a bobber or cut one so we should do chop them in half max it's impossible to catch a bluegill over there hook set mechanics and stuff ish he is tiny dude stop we're putting this guy on a bobber. Eat it. Got him. Yes. Sick. Dude, there was definitely another one over there. These guys have way bigger mouths. These things are so cool. Pretty colorations. There wasn't a... Oh, there he is. That one. Get him. Oh. You might need a little bit less on your hook, bud. They're so fat and meaty. Look at these guys. He looks like he got bit by something too. Something big tried to eat him. Which is a sign that we definitely need to get a blue gal out there. See that little dude right there? He's got a bigger mouth and he tried to eat yours. Got him. That up, babe. What'd I say? See the difference in this guy? Here, let me show him. Too. Let's go. Okay, now you got issues. Strong work. Yeah. This is a green sunfish. That's a bluegill. Pretty cool. Little female bluegill. Which one should we use for bait? I think the small one. Watch this. I think the small one? All right. Throwing that dude back. I think we're going to cut this guy in half. I like cut bait idea better. I don't know what we're going to cut him with yet, but we're going to. You just wait and see, chief. All right, Max. No more Richarding around. We're going bluegill head. Oh, in case you guys are wondering how that bluegill head was chopped off. Spam container. Key, key bluegill head chopper. Game over. <laughs> They're so little. Well, guys, we were uh, not really coming here trying to catch two inch long bluegill. Ooh, that guy got his tail bit off. But fish do, in fact, eat spam. I'd seen it before. These aren't the quality we were after, but this is a good time. We're catching stuff. There it is. Time to load her up, Max. Oh, long freaking day of driving, but totally worth it. I mean, you guys probably know what we ended up doing since 
we went to a meat packing plant and if you're long time of efforts you remember about a year ago we did the exact same thing we did look what we got we, we did it again oh yes we got meat in there there's meat all i gotta show you guys this meat this guy's on top of him let's get him off of there yeah got the got the little go big red cooler you know what's up with that we got meat in there and look at this guy this is this cooler we actually went and bought it today it weighs like a couple hundred pounds it's full to the brim with beast that's a beautiful thing right there for those of you that followed along last year we got half a cow and we actually did the same thing just now we went and picked up half a cow we didn't eat all of that we still got a bunch of that left uh, but we had a healthy majority of that so absolutely if you have the opportunity go buy your own meat we met you grocery stores are sketchy these days our food system in the country is all messed up it's good to know where your meat came from it's actually our friend pancake for those of you that remember pancake this is uh this is her dad's cow had it processed and now it's going to my belly very very soon but yeah video wasn't too exciting today. we didn't catch anything big but we did catch fish on all three of the different types uh, of the gas station food we picked up. The slices, the fruit slices, the Vienna sausages, which would not stay on the hook. I would not recommend those for you guys who want to go buy them randomly at a gas station. And of course, spam. Now, spam is something I want to expand all over. I've seen some pretty crazy things um, and heard some crazy stories about fish that have been caught on spam. So, I don't know, freaking spam and stuff, I guess. It's not my forte. My forte is getting on this guy right here and going and catching slaunch to sore bass but i'll freaking go catch spam catch spam fish eaters with max whenever i love fishing with max take a kid fishing he had a good time today um he passed on the way home so he's a little groggy and cranky right now but uh yeah hopefully you guys like this one um be back probably tomorrow the day after that that's what we do we make a lot of videos and uh, we catch a lot of fish sometimes they're dogs sometimes they're not like today have a damn good time doing it though. I gotta get all this meat unloaded though, guys. I'll catch you very soon. Out of here. Bye. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine.